Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, bam, here we have a Samsung Galaxy S3. Yes, a phone from 2012. Here it is out. That's a nice lock screen there. Eh? And this phone also still running if I can find settings. Bam, Android 4.0.4 ice cream sandwich <laughs> so this is the original firmware that has come with this galaxy s3 so why do i have this s3 warning with us in front of us today here well i want to show you guys today how you guys can install android 13. that's right ladies and gentlemen android 13 the latest operating system as of uh, making this video on the 10 year old samsung Galaxy S3. You heard it right. Android 13 on a Samsung Galaxy S3. All right, with one gigabyte of RAM, 16 gigabyte of storage. This phone still gets Android 13 thanks to Linux OS. So, uh, I'm in this video. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Install Twerp. Also, I'm gonna install. I'm gonna go also install Twerp here from stock. So, if you guys from 4.3. 4.1 or 4.0 like I did. I'm gonna show you guys on how you can upgrade your phone to Android 13. Yes, Android 13 on the Samsung Galaxy S3. So without any further ado, let's go to the video, shall we? Okay guys, so here it is. Lineage OS 20, Android 13 for the Samsung Galaxy S3 by HTML 6405. So thank you, HTML for supporting this 10 year old Samsung Galaxy S3. So um, this is still an alpha build. So like some stuff is good, some some stuff is not. I mean, you guys can check here from the XDA website. They will in the description below here. You can see NFC, Bluetooth audio and phone calls, maybe random reboots as well. So also we gotta check this, how is it gonna be very disturbing or not? So what we gotta do here is gotta download the link here and we're gonna go ahead and go to links. Now we're gonna download Twerpo here, which I will already press this one. So this is Twerp for the S3. Now we gotta go here. We can choose either America or Europe. There is not really, the newest Twerp is 3.7, but it is not available yet for the S3 9300. Okay, now we're gonna download the tar file here. We should download the tar file like so. Download it like so. And now we are gonna go to the mega link. Okay, so here we are the mega link. So you can see it has also Android 12 for the S3, which is again crazy, right? But in this video, we're gonna take a look at Android 13 here. So we're gonna go with the latest build as of right now. It is on the October 18th. I'm gonna go and right click here, download, standard download. And we're gonna wait for that little bang to download. All right, guys, so the next step is we're gonna plug in our phone to the computer here. So we're gonna plug it in there with this IKEA cable. Okay, now the next step is you see you guys gonna download Samsung Keys. Now, we don't really need the Samsung Keys application. We need the USB driver. Now, I try to download the Samsung USB drivers. It's just sometimes it works, sometimes it does not. If I found the driver only, I will link one in the description below. I don't know why, it just doesn't work for me just to install in the drivers, but installing it with Samsung keys just normally works. All right, next here, I have this Odin 3.0.7. You guys can use any version of Odin 3.0.7, 3.13.3, 3.14.4, but I will link this one 3.0.7 in the description down below. Now, as you can see here, Odin's open up. You can make sure here this IDCOM tab is blue. Now, we're gonna go to back to our S3. All right, we're gonna turn off the phone, power off. Now, since it's powering off, it's gonna show the battery charging sign in a bit here. Yes, it did. Now, we're gonna go ahead and press power, volume down, and the home button to go to download mode. All right, so power, volume down, the home button. Press on it, press on it. Press on it until you see this. Volume up. There we go. Now we'll go back to our Odin here. Go to the PDA tab. Make sure to go to your downloads here and find one the 3.62 i9300. Hit open and hit on start. Ah, yes. That's very classic. All right. We're going to turn the phone off. 
turn the phone off again or you can restart all right now we're gonna press on power volume up and home button all right so we're now pressing the volume up combination all right the camera doesn't focus power volume up home like so let go when you see the s3 logo you can see there there's a little exclamation mark on the top now Twerpo should be booting and it is okay 3.6 to Twerpo okay ladies and gentlemen now we copy the ROM to our SD card we're gonna go ahead on wipe advanced wipe Delphi cache system data internal storage don't delete the vendor right swipe to wipe all right so make sure it's completely wiped so it's a clean phone all right all right we're gonna go back install select storage sd card which where i put a rom and there it is lineage os 20 from html for the i 300 let's go and flash this baby up okay so we finished flashing the rom i bring you guys down a bit here so i can put the phone on the stand because holding the phone for a straight couple of minutes is starting my hands all right now we're gonna click on wipe cache so just you know wipe the cache and stuff a bit more and hit reboot system and ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at Android 13 on this 10 year old Samsung Galaxy S3. There we go, Lineage OS 20 on the Samsung Galaxy S3. It's a while to boot, you know. It's the first, it's the first boot, all right. So let it load, all right. So there you go. Welcome to Lineage OS, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and set this up. Okay, so far it's so good on the setup screen. Now we see see right here. Wi-Fi works. Yes, look at that. I can connect to my internet very very easily. We're gonna help improve this phone, you know. We with HTML, we're gonna help html improve android 13 on linux os yes and there we go ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna bring you guys more close here to experience linux os 20 android 13 on the samsung galaxy s3 takes a while you know first first boot you know man first boot bam <laughs> android 13 yo look at that Android 13 with the new uh, Linux OS icons and all these things. Let's go to settings here. So you guys can take a look at the performance as well. Scroll down, i 300 Scroll down, Android 13. All right, that's double tap, triple tap at Android 13. Make the clock go to one o'clock and bam. <laughs> Android 13 on a Samsung Galaxy S3. So this 10 year old Samsung Galaxy S3 at the moment is running the same software that's on the predecessor, the S22 Ultra. Look at this, the same software y'all. Let's go the clock, put down the clock to one o'clock here. This not one o'clock. There, it's running the same firmware. It is running the same firmware as the pixel as the newer galaxy in all these phones man can you all believe it a 10 year old phone all right a 10 year old phone a galaxy s3 runs android 13 very very amazing html very very amazing man so let's take a look at the performance here um so far it's all right let's go to enable developers option here tap tap go to system Developers options, memory is, ooh, it's a bit tight. It's a bit tight, the memory here. We got around 200 megabytes, yeah, 209 megabytes free. It's a bit tight, but the fact that we can run Android 13 on this phone is already amazing. All right? And look at that, Fia browser is pre-installed and Aurora store is, is, is pre-installed, man. Amazing HTML, huh? No Google this, no Google that, because you don't want Google Play services on this one gigabyte of RAM. Galaxy S3 y'all. We don't want that. Fia browser is good for this older hardware and in fact it still works with Android 4.0 and Aurora store you know. The app store without any Google Play services. All right now let's check out, take a look at the camera here. Let's see if it works. And it did. Whoa it did. We got the new user interface from the Linux OS as well. Let's take a picture of this rabbit stand here. Look at it guys. Oh, we got the flash. 
We got the flash, boys. Look at that. It works. It flicking works, y'all. The cam works. The front cam works. Let's go to video. Video, video, video. SD. On, off. What is that? On, off. What's that button, guys? What's that button do? SD, on, off. I'm gonna leave that on. I don't know what is that. Take a record here. Recording? Are we recording? There's no timestamp or anything, so testing. Oh, it's a bit wide. <laughs> the cam is a bit wide, guys. You guys see this? You see, this is at my rabbit stand, it looks like, versus on the S3. It's literally look, like, looks like a big chungus. So we got a little back on recording you, but it, it works. It works, but we got a, a wider depth of field and everything. Let's see if the mic works, if it's safe at all. Okay, so it looks like video recording is no go because that recording does not save. And also a bit glitchy, glitchy animation to consider there. That when I step up in the gallery, it's a little bit ewy. Let's look at the recorder here, so the mic works. As you can see here, this is the one of the new features here in Android 13. Is so application can ask you if they able to send notifications or not, which is pretty pretty cool. Even through iOS as it's in iOS 4 or iOS 5, but still. Nice addition to Android right here. So let's, let's, so let's test the mic here. Testing, testing, testing. Uno, dos, tres. It's a bit, it's a bit not good, you know? Let's play it again. It's not so good. It's not so good, but it works, you know? Because it's a 10 year old phone. Performance, guys. I gotta say, how am I gonna go to the navigation? Is it, how, how do we? Seven hold, oh, it's seven hold. Let's go to settings, is it resumes? It's still there, so let's go to my gallery. Oh, gallery is being refreshed, so uh, RAM is RAM management is a uh, kind of all right in here. But yeah, guys, uh, this is it. We got the stock Android 13. It's a um, performance is pretty all right. All right, you think it's slow because you know, you think it's gonna be slow, but again, if you keep in mind that this is a 10 year old phone and it's got Android 13, and you won't use this as your main phone, right? If, if you could that would be very very amazing but the fact that it got android 13 for the samsung galaxy s3 is already amazing enough guys amazing enough it stopped at android 4.3 y'all it stopped at android 4.3 and it's still getting updates here which is very very cool all right uh let's i just connected to internet here let's open the browser here to see does wi-fi is a-okay And it works. Look at that. It works. Speaker works. Try full screen here. It's gonna take some time. Or is it disabled? It's disabled, I think. <laughs> oh, it's disabled. Let's try that. Oh, it takes a while. It takes a while, but hey, eh, and there you go. It's still loading some stuff up, and keep in mind also this is an alpha ROM, so this is a very early preview kind of of Android 13 on the Lineage OS 20. So it's kind of like a preview of the S3 running Android 13, but the preview is already pretty all right. I mean, again, this phone has one gig of RAM, guys. This phone is one gig of RAM, and it performs pretty right. Look at this scrolling around here. It's pretty alright. If you don't install Google Play services, stay with Aurora Store, guys. Seriously, stay with Aurora Store. This thing is amazing, yo. This thing is amazing, man. I really like Aurora Store because, like, it's basically your app store without needing any Google Play services. Because you know, Google Play services this, Google Play services that. It will eat up your RAM, your storage, and not that big. This thing, man, is an open source, completely private store you can see here if i click on finish you can log in as anonymous no google account this no google account that need to be installed de googleified deep loaded right because google you know they cannot track you i'm just saying man so with this aurora store you guys can download any apps from the google play any apps from the google play and it will be with no hassle with no google play you can see here we got a via browser updated let's see here what do you guys want to search, huh? Free, let's go ahead and click that. The latest version 2, 2.61, blah, blah, blah. Install. So, it's an app store, 
without the Google Play Store, which is very amazing, eh? Okay, so we are now installing Instagram, as you can see there, effortlessly installing Instagram, yo. Open, let me hit that open, there we go. It will kind of, it will load again here. Keep in mind, yo, one gigabyte of RAM. That S4, the S4 has two gigs, yo. Takes a while to open Instagram. This is also the normal Instagram, not the light version, right? And there you go. It works. So guys, there you go. We got Android 13 on the Galaxy S3. The performance is as pretty okay-ish considering this phone, like I said, yo one gigabyte of ram and there is some bugs still here and there but i think html will polish it in the future months but in the meantime we got android 13 on this 10 year old phone it's already pretty pretty amazing enough all right guys so here we go that's android 13 on the samsung galaxy s3 exynos i9300 thank you guys for watching this video comment subscribe and i will catch you guys on the next one peace